So, hey guys, Nate Lewis here, and welcome back to the ant farm. Yeah, so, we have just completed the extreme ant farm. Uh, I mean, when, when you'll be seeing this, it probably won't be too long after the actual upload of the final episode of Extreme Ant Farm Survival, which is uploading right now as we speak, actually. Um, but <laughs> those videos, uh, the previous two uh, ant farm episodes, so the penultimate and final episode of Extreme Ant Farm, those were recorded... Like, God, I want to say at least a month ago. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long ago those were heavily pre-recorded. I, I kind of got pseudo-sick. I'm still kind of dealing with it, actually. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Uh, I might make a dedicated video later talking about it, but yeah. So, um, <laughs> today we're going to be beginning the Extreme Ant... Or extreme Ant... We just completed the Extreme Ant Farm. We're going to be starting the Forbidden Ant Farm today. And things are going to be a little weird this time. Um, my computer's not plugged in. I only have like 35 minutes left in the battery apparently because I took a while to get set up here. Um, I went ahead and took a bunch of my stuff that I have up in my base up there and I went ahead and put it in the ender chest for reasons that will become clear later or are already clear if you already know this map. And uh, the existence of another portal block here will make sense in a moment. Because uh, I want to walk you through what I have to do here, but... Uh, the teleports and spawns and everything in this map are all messed up. Uh, when you get to the top there, if you remember from the final episode, uh, there's a button in there that you can press, and um, what it does is it sets your spawn to the Forbidden Ant Farm, which you have to do is die in order to go there. Uh, but the spawns and teleports and everything in this map are all kind of screwed up. I'm not quite sure why or what happened, but let me show you just an example here. If I set my spawn to the regular ant farm and then go to the regular ant farm. Well, okay, it spawned me here in the forbidden ant farm. Uh, actually, I need to die real quick. Um, I've already been here. I, I did a bunch of preparation. Enderman, can you kill me, please? Enderman, uh, okay, thanks, zombie, that works. Ah, everything's going wrong. <laughs> Hang on a second. I built an end portal up here because the extreme app farm is in the end. Um, I better, I'll explain that in a moment. But what it was doing is that every time I would die, it would just send me back here. I might have pressed the set spawn to extreme app farm button at some point. I'm not sure. Uh, the point is that when I pressed the button up there to set my spawn to the Forbidden Ant Farm, it just sent me back here. So what I did, and again, I'm going to walk you through the process of what I did. Oops. I went up there to where the button is. I went through the command blocks that are up there, found the coordinates that it's supposed to spawn you at to go to the Forbidden Ant Farm. Right? And so... <coughs> excuse me. Um, then what I had to do is I went ahead and spawned in a nether portal block here, if you don't know how to do that. Uh, this is just in this particular version of the game. The command is probably a bit different now. But at least in this version, you just have to type that, and you get a nether portal block. And I can use this to exit the end. If I just made an end portal, it would just teleport me back here, basically. Long story. It would teleport me to the area where it teleports you to teleport you here. Or rather it would, yeah. I'm bad at explaining things, but if I go through here into the nether, it didn't actually spawn a portal because all the chunks are totally broken, but if I teleport to the center of the world, uh, the nether ant farm from the first ant farm is around here somewhere. I don't see it. Uh, but what I had to do, where, where is it? Come on. There we go. The chunks are all broken here for a reason that is beyond me. As you can see, the entire nether ant farm, uh, not not the entire thing is spawning, only this patch of it. And I actually haven't tried this. I wonder if I go in there, will it fix itself? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what happened there, but what I had to do then was spawn in another portal block. So let's do that real quick. Put it down. Use it to head to the overworld. And it just spawns me out in the middle of nowhere here. 
and then teleport to the coordinates from that other block, from that command block to set my spawn to the coordinate ant farm, which is these coordinates, so I typed this command and teleported to them, and it put me in the forbidden ant farm. So then what I did is I typed slash spawn point so I wouldn't have to do that again if I die. So that way I'll just spawn here naturally. And yeah, now we're ready to begin the forbidden ant farm. And let, let that set the tone because the forbidden ant farm is famously very difficult. And uh, let's see, the game isn't actually freezing when I pause it, so... Oh god, okay. I'm going to try and cut down this tree and read the challenges to you at the same time. It's not going to go well. And yeah, there are no leaves, just these. Uh, but the first challenge is to make an ender chest, and that's why I put all of my a bunch of my items in the ender chest back there. So that way you can access the items, uh, for some of your items from the extreme air farm. Uh, but that's something that's going to take a while. Uh, you have to make the Forbidden Ant Farm safe somehow, which I guess will be lighting up everything. Destroying spawners, all that. Find all rogue shops. Okay, I can't reach that from here. Hang on. I am stuck in a web. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, complete the Simmered Cave. Get the Forbidden Pickaxe. Complete the Withering Catacombs. Get the Forbidden Wand. Complete the Tomb of Demons. Get the Forbidden Blade. Find the Mechanite Forge and get the Quasar Sword. Extra rule, don't dig your way to the end of the Forbidden Dungeons. <laughs> Uh, need a hand? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And yeah. So, as you can tell from me listing out... Okay, some of these are... Hang on a sec. Give me. Thank you. Um, as you can tell from me reading off that, a lot of those challenges are related to completing certain areas or certain dungeons and stuff. <sighs> okay, my... Oh my gosh, okay. My mouse is acting very strange today. I'm having some issues with it. I was having a lot of trouble just uh, with the mouse, just getting this recording set up. But yeah, see, look, look at this. This isn't normal. Like, I don't know if you're really noticing it, but mouse movement is very strange and awkward. Can't believe I just managed to do the click and drag right there in spite of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's do. Uh, we can't use up all the wood quite yet. Or period, because it's going to be a very limited resource here. Uh, let's see. Got a bunch of stone... Um, what do you call those? Chiseled stone bricks. I think there is actual cobblestone in this map. And as you can see... Oh, Skellington. Here we go. Yeah, cobble right here. Uh, there's iron down there, as you saw a second ago. Do not hit me, please. That is rude. There. I'll be able to reach me, but I won't be able to reach all the cobblestone now. Oh, God. I'm going to have to figure out what is causing this mouse issue. <laughs> Let's see. How much do I want to grab of this? Probably shouldn't grab all of it. Just in case I need some later. But I am going to dig down a little bit so I can just go down here and hide from Mr. Skellington over there. Okay. Hello, friend. It's like, I'm just jumping up within range here. It's like poking a bear. Okay. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, okay, let's move. That hurt. I just want to get out of his range here. Okay, I should be far away enough now. Oh my god, mouse. Stop it. I'll make a pick. See? Oh my gosh, okay. Furnace. Uh, we'll just put it there, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now. Um, uh, I want to make a chest. Actually, wait a sec. Uh, when I was setting up the recording... or Not really when I was setting up the recording, because it just happened earlier. Uh, when I was trying to explain how I what I had to do while setting up the recording, but uh, the point is that I saw a chest down here. I'm not nearly as familiar with this particular one. Oh wow, emeralds of all things. 
Right, thanks, but there we go. Now I have a chest. Enderman. I will be very cautious as to not look directly into your eyes, so please don't be mad at me. Okay. <clears throat> Just grab some of these. I'm going to be probably bridging around with these quite a lot. Uh, for the time being, I have keep inventory turned off, but you know I'm going to need it on later, probably. So, yeah. Especially when you consider that, once again, this is the hardest ant farm out of all of them. I'll get some water. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> you win. But yeah, obviously we, we've got pretty limited time here because of the fact that I'm not plugged in right now. Uh, hopefully next time we'll have more time because hopefully it won't take me as long to get set up. Uh, my computer battery usually lasts like about, I want to say, an hour and a half-ish when not plugged in. But I wish it lasted longer, but it is what it is. This is the way I'm kind of having to play a lot of games right now unfortunately that's a real shame because my computer runs slower uh, when it's not plugged in so I'm dealing with a lot more lag and frame rate issues and stuff let's pick a break right about now okay let's go put this chest down yeah, I'm gonna probably die before too long <laughs> Uh, I should probably make a sword here. Oh my gosh. My freaking mouse is just driving me nuts right now. I don't know what is wrong with that dude. Um, I, I initially I thought it was something with the, um, maybe the batteries were dying. So I went ahead and uh, replaced them and it's not any better. <laughs> Really. I want to see if I can pull this off. I gotta be really careful because the resources are so limited right now, even more so than they were in the first ant farm, and I suppose even more so than at the beginning of Extreme Ant Farm. Everything's gonna be a bit slow at the beginning here with this one. I gotta be careful, there's a blaze spawner down. Two blaze spawners down there. Let me make a little area here that I can retreat into in case someone decides they want to start shooting at me. There we go. <laughs> One thing I wanted to mention is I've, I've talked about my music a little bit before in some of these videos. Uh, if any of you are interested, uh, my album is almost finished. In fact, it, it's pretty much finished. Uh, the final song in the album, it's called Vestige. I just finished mixing the vocals for it. I have a really basic, simple guitar solo I'm going to be recording for it. And uh, I practiced the solo a bunch of times. I just haven't actually recorded it yet and recorded it into the song yet. That blaze is mad. He wants my blood. He wants to make it, he wants to boil my blood uh, as part of like a, a stew or something. That sounds more like something a witch would do. Uh, can blazes even eat? They, they probably can't. Do they have mouths? I'm not sure. Hang on. I've never really looked. I think I can't tell. I know they have eyes, but I can't tell because none, none of them are looking at me. Oh my god, a creeper just. Oh gosh, this guy's bad dogging me. Okay. <clears throat> Ow. Excuse me. Ugh. Zambi. Okay, why am I... I mean, I, I was going to say, why am I punching you? I have a sword and it's not on. Uh... Oh. oh my gosh, dude, you... You sneaky little bastard. Okay. Well, okay, I just got a big lag spike there. God, these mouse issues make me feel like I can barely play Minecraft. 
There might be some truth to that. <laughs> That's probably already the case. Okay, um... Oh my goodness. Maybe I should... You know what I should actually do? Is I should build a platform here. A little bit higher up and put the chest and stuff on it. That way, if a creeper sneaks up on me like that again, uh, it won't get blown up. Oops. There we go. There's a spider nearby. I don't know where he is. I know I'm kind of wasting some of the sword's durability by using it to break these, but I want to have it on hand just in case. I know. Even though, I mean, I guess, to be fair, if something attacks me, I'll die immediately because of my health. Still. But yeah, my spawn's already set here. Actually, let's do it this way. Just it'll look more pleasing to the eye. I'll put that there. There. I think that looks a little better than putting the furnace and the crafting bench here in the chest there. Ah, uh, mouse, cooperate with me, please. <laughs> I beg of you. Okay. <clears throat> let's see how much time we got left. 21 minutes. Not sure how much I believe that. <laughs> um, hello, zombie. I might be able to afford risking like plugging the computer in at the very end. As long as I am I'm not playing for too long after that, but I'm not quite sure. Usually it takes a few minutes uh, before the computer freezes. It doesn't just freeze immediately. Should I uh, kill myself to regenerate my health here? I don't really have a stable food source at the moment. In fact, I probably won't for a while. Excuse me, since I've only got one XP, I mean... Excuse me, might as well. <clears throat> the heck just happened? A random thing, slider thingy, appeared on my screen. I'm not sure what it was. Hi, blazes. Okay. Fell into the crater. My spawn is still set here. Okay, you... Yes, yes! Kill him! Kill him, spider! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh, my computer screen went out. Uh, I, okay. I don't know if, if you guys are still seeing this. I don't know if the recording is still going. Uh -huh. If it is, I'm impressed. I just plugged my computer back in. Oh, my God. The recording is still going. That is amazing. Okay. Oh god, what happened? <laughs> okay, what happened is my, uh, I think my battery got too low, so my screen went out. Uh, I have a USB-C monitor connected to this, and it draws power from the computer in order for this whole thing to work, so I think that's why. I think there wasn't enough power left for it to continue powering the monitor. Uh, that might, that means I might have to conclude this first episode here, which... Uh, we haven't really done anything at all. I, I feel kind of bad. Uh, sh should I keep... Hmm. I don't think I want to risk it. I don't have a backup of this, so if, it, if something screws up, uh, I won't be able to start over. So, if you guys have enjoyed this first episode of, of Extreme Ant Farm, Forbidden Ant Farm, be sure to leave a like and do all that crap if you want to. Skelly, I'm going to knock you off the edge. Bye. <laughs> um, I have no idea what we're going to do next time, to be honest. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see because I genuinely don't know. Uh, I know there's a dungeon uh, not too far below me under this area. Um, I might want to start trying to travel out. Maybe I can get those trees. Start trying to put some torches around. I'm not really sure. But yeah, well, the way... We'll have to see what I do next time, I guess. So, yeah. All out of the way. Peace out, and don't be afraid to show who you are.